here for the next four days to celebrate his birthday. Wait, who, who are you here with? Sorry, I meant Vegas Pete. Vegas Pete. Vegas Pete. If you didn't know, Vegas is probably our favorite place in the whole wide world. I figured to celebrate Pono's birthday and to celebrate both of us graduating college and just to have a fun summer vacation, might as well hit the Vegas Strip. So I got to say King Suite at Park MGM, which I've never been to before. I've only been to the really kind of dinky hotels on the strip like Excalibur and the Luxor, which I loved, but we tried to upgrade it this time and we kind of accidentally got a little bit of a suspicious room because we just walked in and it's pretty funny looking. Come on in. I actually feel kind of dirty sitting on this couch. I did not know the room was gonna look like this. I didn't know it was a red velvet room. Here we've got this entire wall of red. Crazy red velvet couch. Over here we've got the bed. Kind of equally crazy. Pictures of women in bikinis. <gasps> then over here we've got our bathroom. This is probably the nicest room. Oh, the art is amazing. Like, look at this aesthetic. This is so interesting. But then we bring up the blinds. <laughs> And we got a crazy view. Wow, look at that. So this is what we're doing for the next four days. The goals for this trip are get some delicious eats, specifically for Pono to celebrate his birthday. I reserved a really nice restaurant for tomorrow night. He does not know what it is yet. Did I mention it's my birthday? Yeah, did I mention it's our birthday? If we can get our bread up a little bit, that would be great. We're not here to lose money. We're the type of people that come here and win it all. Jackpot, 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 jackpot. The jackpot. bankers or whoever owns the money here, they say, oh no, Amber and Vegas PR in town. We're about to become broke. But mostly, yeah, I don't know. I'm just here for the vibes and the food, TBH. So basically that's the gist of what we're doing here this week. And right now we're feeling real hungry. So we're looking for a place to eat. Me so hungry. Mm. So we'll catch you when we get some food. Liminal space. This is literally the liminal spaces in Park MGM are crazy. This shirt I stole from Ashley, it says misdemeanor. Skort from Thread Up. Adidas shoes I also stole from Ashley. And this Kimlin bag from Thread Up. We got the Ray-Bans aviators on. Oh, I look like a straight up cop in these. <laughs> LA Clippers, Lamar Odom jersey, some Nike shorts, some Nike socks. Panda Dunks. Panda Dunks. Now I think we're just gonna get like Panda Express to get a quick bite and then we have dinner at Roy Choi's later tonight. Also, it's like 106 degrees right now. We're only hitting the classic Vegas spots. I mean, this place is an institution. We're better off than to start with Panda Express. Here's Okay, we just finished our pre-dinner at Panda and it was delicious. And now I think we might just walk around some casinos for fun until our official dinner tonight at 10 o'clock. We're eating at Best Friend by Roy Choi. So it's a really nice Korean fusion restaurant. Very excited. Look at the views. Beautiful. Misdemeanor. And he's Mr. Meaner. Go to the demo again. This guy's freaky. Eddie, wake up. You already know I want Will. Buy me one? Buy me this? You look uh, so what's good. the guy's name? Bill? No, uh. Steve. I am Steve Harrington. I am Steve Harrington. This is my daily affirmation. Yeah. <laughs> this and a snapback. So, Best Friend by Roy Choi is a Korean fusion place. Here in Vegas, he's kind of doing LA Korean fusion. To start us off, I got a mocktail slushy pina colada. Quite delicious, but very sweet. And then Pono got a highball. Pretty standard uh, whiskey soda type drink. We started out with Korean fried chicken wings. It came with a sweet chili sauce. Really tasty, probably one of the highlights of the meal for me. Then all the other dishes rolled out. We got miso squash, elote street corn, kimchi fried rice, and a pork belly bowl. To be honest, this whole dinner was pretty crazy. All of the flavors were really strong and bold. And what I really needed was a bowl of white rice or something to calm it all down. We bit off more than we could chew, yet we did not chew as much as we could bite. Yeah, ain't that the truth. So to be honest, at the end of dinner, we were kind of feeling a little bit effed up in the tummy. Probably the best bite of dinner was the date cake. It was like a medjool sticky caramely cake, kind of like Gordon Ramsay's sticky toffee pudding. Yeah, we had no problems eating that. Absolutely no problems. Now we're back in the hotel and dinner is done and we're pretty stuffed. We really dove headfirst into the Vegas trip. In the words of Billy Joel, slow down, you crazy child. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'm exhausted. We're gonna head to bed and we'll see you in the morning. Peace. Peace. Good morning. It's day two in Vegas. 
and we're gonna go crazy. Just kidding, we're actually just gonna go to my favorite little French bakery this morning, and then we have our really nice surprise dinner tonight. I'm getting ready. Apparently it's gonna be 106 degrees today, so I'm putting on my sunscreen, I'm using this one. But I think we should be indoors most of today, so I think we're good. Now to pick my outfit. I'm looking through some new pieces that I got from ThreadUp, of course. I am so excited to be partnering with them today. ThreadUp is definitely the number one place that I do my shopping. If you didn't know, they are the world's biggest online thrift store, and they've got some great stuff. So let me show you what I got, and we'll pick our little outfit from here. First off, we have this outfit. We have these low-rise Levi's jeans and this airy tank top. I've never owned a pair, but these surprisingly fit me so well. I love them. I can also pair it with this coach bag that I got, which is so cute, so divine. Everything is really discounted. Like, this tank top was originally $25. I got it for $9.99. These Levi's were originally $64. I got it for $22.99. And this coach bag was originally $212, but I got it for $64.99. Thank you very much, Thread Up. Except it might be a bit too hot for this outfit today because of the jeans, so let's try something else. This is gonna be the final outfit for today. I've got another cami and this maxi skirt from American Eagle. And I'm wearing my hair up with this little headband, which I don't know if it works completely, but I wanna wear it anyways. And my little coach bag and my Adidas shoes. This is kind of like a fall outfit too, because summer is dwindling down. And if you guys wanna check out ThreadUp, you can use the link in my description. ThreadUp has a really cool feature where you can shop pieces that are similar to the ones that I bought today. So if you wanna use my pieces for inspiration, go right ahead. Also, you can use my code AMBER for 40% off. Such a win, such a big win. Now it's time to get breakfast. Here we are at Deli Sis Gourmand's French Bakery. It's a delicious, quaint little bakery off the strip. We come here for the quiches and the cannelles. They have a bunch of other French pastries too, but these are our standout things. Cannelles are kind of a rare find. They're really hard to make and a little bit pricey. Then we also got a quiche Lorraine, quiche Florentine, and a Italian quiche. And we got six cannelles. They were so good, so delicious. Toasty, custardy flavor. After trying these, I went back up to the guy. I was like, can I buy the rest of them? So now we have a total of 16 cannelles. <laughs> the texture is just divine. Here we have the quiches, which is like our actual breakfast. Quiches are little egg tarts, if you didn't know. Sweet. Also, their salad randomly is like so good too. Let's take a little nibble of this, eh? Cheers. Okay. And also real quiche heads, just eat the quiche via the hand. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's some good-ish. Now that we've got our breakfast, I think we, we don't really know what we're doing today. We might hit the pool and we got a dinner later tonight. It's a few hours later. We spend most of the day napping in the hotel room. Yep. And now it's time for our fancy dinner. And Pono still doesn't know where we're going. No clue. I told him some misleading info about where we're going. Yeah, she said we were going to Outback Steakhouse. Yeah. <laughs> I switched into my fancy dinner outfit. This is a dress that I got a while ago from Lulu's and I never really had a reason to wear it until right now. I put on makeup for tonight. I switched to this old bag that I have from Princess Polly because I just need a bigger bag for tonight. This is my special dinner shirt that I got in Japan. I yep. wear it for every fancy dinner that me and Amber go to. These are my special fancy dinner shorts that I got from Nike. <laughs> I wear these to every fancy dinner that me and Amber go to. No, you don't. And then I got Panda, Panda Dunks. Dunks. He's wearing shorts because it's literally 110 degrees out tonight. Usually he'd be wearing pants, but honestly, I love the fit, 10 out of 10. So we're about to call this Uber and then we'll be getting our Dana. I got the biggest forehead of all time. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Oh, I really bonked you there. That's okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's just our little thing we do. Michael Jordan, couple goals, slapping each other in the forehead. Okay, we are in Paris, Las Vegas, the Paris Hotel, and I'm telling Pono to walk around the casino while I update the vlog. The place we're going to dinner is probably, I would say maybe number one on Pono's list in Las Vegas, because if you didn't know, we love us some Gordon Ramsay. And during our last Vegas trip, we went to Hell's Kitchen, which was one of our favorite dinners of all time. So today I'm bringing Pono to Gordon Ramsay's steak, which is like a tier above Hell's Kitchen. It's pretty pricey, but I'm so excited, and I know Pono's gonna be too. So I think it's about time we tell him. Okay, this is kind of awkward. I'm having Pono walk around the casino while I update you guys, but it's right here. I'm praying that he hasn't seen it yet because that would kind of spoil the surprise. But right now I'm looking for him so I can tell him we're going here. Let's keep searching. Oh, oh no. Really? Hey, Pono, wait. You have Do you want to pause for one second? Yeah, but this is a huge bet right here. You have 20. Yeah, one more. You won? Oh, God. Okay, wait. What? Wait, hold on. Stay right there, stay right there. Love it. Would you turn around real quick? Wow. Uh -huh. Sweet. Sweet. Did you see it when you were walking around? You didn't? No. 
Oh, thank God. I thought you spoiled the surprise by looking around. No. I've done some research on this. Pono doesn't know yet. Gordon Ramsay Steak has all the same entrees and whatnot as Hell's Kitchen available. And on top of that, a bunch of steaks. Did you have any guesses that it was a Gordon Ramsay restaurant? No. You didn't? Uh, I'm excited. Yeah. Shout out to Gordon Ramsay. We love your food. We love your food, Gordon. And we love you, dude. Yeah. If you haven't watched his show Hotel Hell yet, you should oh. watch Hotel Hell. Yeah, we love Hotel Hell. Okie dokie, welcome to Gordon Ramsay Steak. Beautiful ambiance, very dark red steakhouse vibes. So for drinks, I got a strawberry martini, which also had basil syrup in it, super yummy and sweet. And then Pono got the drifter, which was basically an old fashioned. I usually don't drink, but both of these were super tasty. Then for our meals, there was an option of getting the tasting menu, but we decided to just pick our own entrees and whatnot. So for the appetizer, we got uh, the diver scallops and roasted corn risotto. Two really big scallops, so one for me and one for Amber. Then for our main entrees, I got the beef wellington, which is Gordon Ramsay's signature dish, and it was amazing, so tender. I got the 24 ounce bone-in ribeye uh, cooked medium rare and it was one of the best steaks I had in my life honestly and then we got a little side of grilled asparagus probably could have done without it honestly definitely could have done without um, it then for our dessert we got the sticky toffee pudding sticky toffee pudding and because it was Pono's birthday they put a little candle on the plate really really good uh, sticky toffee pudding overall surprisingly way more expensive than Hell's Kitchen though yeah and it kind of seems like for no reason uh -huh. a delightful dinner we love the Gordon Ramsay restaurants great service yeah honestly one of the best steaks of my whole life thank you so much Amber Oh. What a, what a gorgeous and delicious meal. Oh, that was so sweet. But now dinner's over and it's been a few hours. We've just been walking around the strip since we finished up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, it's no big deal. You do that? It's all up here. It's all up here. I'm not eating the leftovers. <laughs> I'm pretty tired, so I guess it's time for bed and we'll see you tomorrow. changed our outfits into these crazy New York shirts. And then we got some canes. And I got a bunch of Texas toast, fries, coleslaw, when I got a three finger combo. I feel a little bit sick because I was just eating carbs and sauce. So later we're gonna have to balance it out with some Taco Bell to make me feel better. But for now we're just gonna look around, go into some more shops. I've been eyeing the M&M store. Mostly I wanna go there for the photo booth because the past two times we've been here, we've taken photos in the photo booth and we gotta do it a third time. If it weren't for us, M&M would be out of business. I'm afraid of what might happen if I relax. Yep. Awkward. You already know this is me. This guy. <laughs> this guy. He's a little too cunning for me. I love the m and so nice. Let's find this photo booth. Your... Where is it? The photo booth got replaced? The photo booth got replaced? Right by here. more baby stuff? It was right here. literally just ended our tradition for us. Let me break down the scenario. This girl thinks she's one of the guys. <gasps> she's losing herself in order to become one of the guys. Oh no, breaking down the- Gender constructs. The, the gender constructs. Yeah, they actually don't care about her at all. They're actually just all competing to date her at some point. Uh -huh. I could stay here for hours breaking this down. Food for thought. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> food for thought. Or, or should I say candy for thought? We got purple and yellow M&Ms because the Lakers are so awesome. Yeah. I feel like I could do this all day. Yeah. Just walking around eating M&Ms. Oh, okay. We just saw a guy win two bonuses on here and then leave. And now I'm about to get the third bonus on this machine. Yeah. 
Both of them. Are you serious? Let's go. Hundred bucks. <laughs> if you win a bonus, go home. Also, don't go to the casino. At least we got M&Ms. It's 3.05 in the morning. We just walked 20 minutes in 100 degree heat. But we're finally at the Taco Bell Cantina. And hopefully this will bring us back to life. We need them big Baja Blast Slurpees. back to Vegas anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> this was intended to be like a lighthearted, relaxing, treating ourselves trip. Ended up feeling kind of worse than we did when we came here. Our days in Vegas are over until next time. Maybe. Plot twist, we actually ended up extending our stay because my sister Ashley and her boyfriend Kelly ended up surprise visiting us and it only gets more chaotic from here. We also literally got stuck in a flash flood. What are we doing? Who are we driving on? So part two is coming soon. Also, don't forget to check out ThreadUp using the link down below and my code AMBER for 40% off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for part two. Peace.